Back-to-back -back hurricanes causing enormous damage across several states. The task for insurance adjusters is enormous, but what if that task could be made simpler with balloons? Diana Olick has the details in her continuing series on climate startups. Diana. Well, Tyler, for decades, insurance adjusters have used the same methods to assess property damage after natural disasters. They visit individual properties and use small airplanes with high-resolution cameras so they can see damage to roofs, structures, and neighborhoods. The planes speed the process and help prioritize specific claims. Now one startup claims it can do one better. You're looking at stratospheric, AI-enabled, robotic cameras flying on weather balloons. They're called Swifties, the brainchild of Near Space Labs, a Brooklyn, New York startup looking to modernize the way the insurance industry assesses both property risk and damage in an increasingly volatile climate. With our balloons and our Swift, uh, insurance companies are able to uh, get access to information right after the catastrophe. Um, and assess the damage and pay out claims within days instead of weeks and months. Near Space Labs uses giant weather balloons to launch its cameras twice as high as airplanes go. The cameras provide high-resolution imagery over thousands of square miles. Our balloons uh, capture what 800,000 drones would uh, with one flight. This means that we can be faster, better, and cheaper uh, for, for our customers. And it's not just for use after a storm. Insurance and reinsurance companies like Swiss RE are using near space to help them understand and price risk. The imagery of property specifics like roof characteristics, surrounding vegetation, defensible space, all feed into customer AI data sets. That part is especially attractive to investors. If you are actually going to be able to use AI to do risk analysis, um, you need a cheap, abundant source of imagery. And, and you know, we, we believe that at least over the next decade, near space is probably the cheapest way to do this. In addition to Third Sphere, near space is backed by Crosslink Capital, Wireframe Ventures, IAG Firemark, Toyota Ventures, and Leadout Capital. Total funding to date, $24 million. Nearspace says it has flown over 1,000 commercial missions, but it's still ramping up its operations. Its CEO says they're focusing on risk analysis with insurers now, but by next year, they'll be able to react to major disasters from hurricanes to floods to wildfires. Kelly? Diana, on this front with the technology and, and the surveillance and, and all of that for insurance companies, I had friends whose homeowners got canceled because a drone saw that there was a tree touching their house, but they didn't know. And my agent says this happens all the time. There was no, hey, you should trim this branch before we drop you, or hey, this or hey, that. They were just, boom, non-renewed, branch touching the house. Sorry. Um, well, I don't know how that really <laughs> relates to what we're talking about here. This is going to be more about assessing risk due to climate change and natural disasters. But I guess if you're having those issues that you should contact your insurance company. I guess what I'm, my point would be, is there a way to whatever conclusions they're going to draw about coverage as a result and risks, is this an ongoing discussion that you are part of, or are you only going to find out if something happens to your policy or the rate goes up or so forth? Well, it all goes into the risk assessment of what the insurance company is looking at when they price that for your home. So you can talk to them about what they're looking at. But, you know, insurance adjusters now, when they go out after a storm, they're looking at all kinds of damage. But when they price in the risk to begin with, they're also using planes, so they may see the same thing. This is just a cheaper, faster way of doing it. So if they're using drones, if they're using planes and not this specific technology, they're still going to see the same thing as they would have seen 10 years ago.